It all started in biology class. My teacher, Mr. Hogan, got sidetracked talking about these sea worms that are autotrophs. Autotrophs are self-feeders. Animals, on the other hand, are heterotrophs. Yet these sea worms became autotrophs by eating zoothanthellae, or algae-eating bacteria, and now the sea worms no longer needed to eat. Evolution had blurred the line between plants and animals. Then Hogan told us about this yogi in India who claimed he didn't have to eat anymore. But who knows what kind of scientific standards they've got over there. Which made Mr. Hogan wonder about the application of such a process to humans. Can you imagine the use of an army that doesn't need to eat? If humans could photosynthesize, then none of us would have to eat. And without the need for food, humans would no longer have to grapple with hunger, disease, and death. See, Malthus predicted the human population would eventually outstrip its ability to feed itself. And when that happened, it didn't really matter whether you called upon Jesus, or Buddha, or the Almighty Himself. Hunger would drive people to eat each other. Well, none of this had me too concerned until I met this tall, beautiful girl at my mother's hospice care. She seemed in a trance or comatose. My mom told me she had had a traumatic brain injury. But that didn't explain the surgical scars dotting the back of her legs. So while mom was out, I woke her up by accident. She was disoriented and kept pleading with me to keep the gardener from finding her. She made me confused. What sort of gardener would be so scary? But she was seriously afraid of him. So serious, she threw me over a wall as we hightailed it out of there. Of course, they didn't know she was missing and come looking for us, but I went anyway. And what I found out will blow your mind. 